Hi students, so we are back again. Today we are going to learn from 3 science KSSM 2.3 Health of Human Respiratory System. When we are talking about respiratory, it is not um, it is talking about our lung, our body, there's some uh, blood and um, all this system and organ. And what actually is not good for our respiracy because actually eventually people will die correct or not people one day will die and usually if you see the doctor report usually the report of the doctor say heart failure of course heart failure lah because sometimes they don't know the doctor don't know why why a person die so the doctor just put heart failure correct or not heart fail then you die lah okay so uh, we need to be healthy. I don't know how many percent of people die due to heart failure or heart attack. Some people die to strokes. Usually people die with cancer. And we need to take care of our body. If not, uh, we will regret it later on in the part of our life. So make sure you exercise, take care of our body. Very important. Uh. Even I say now, you feel like it's not important. Wait until one day you become old. And that's why sesal dahulu berpendapatan, sesal kemudian tidak berguna. So make sure you take care of your health, huh? it's very important. Okay, substance that are harmful to the human respiratory system. So what substance are harmful? Um, cigarette, you know, right? you smoke is not good. Carbon monoxide, you can, where can you get carbon monoxide? You can get it from car due to incomplete combustion from the car so you can get it that's why when I stand at the road lah, I'm like don't want to breathe I close my mouth but eventually you still breathe it there's not much effect sulfur dioxide is poisonous from factory um, that's why if you live near factory it's not good hopefully when you buy house make sure that is a housing area no beside there got factory and then got the high chimney and you don't know what gas coming out from the chimney. It could be sulfur dioxide because it's quite common for factory to produce or carbon uh, sulfur dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide, haze, dust, and pollen. Okay, correct now. Haze is nah, gerbo. Dust is the dirty thing. Pollen, hmm. Pollen is actually from the plant. Um it depends on what pollen. Some pollen might go into your body and I don't know it will affect your health, but rarely like I would say this more in the rare cases. Okay. So let's read this one. What is the importance of foreign reserve to the health in the respiratory system? Foreign reserve can reduce the substance that can be harmful. Yes, foreign reserve. If you buy a house beside a forest, of course, every time when you wake up, you can feel the fresh air. I stay at KL, Chiras, but I work at Seremban. It's totally different at KL Air and Seremban. At KL, you just breathe all the car carbon smell. At Seremban, at least lah, sometimes when the wind blows, I can smell the, the tree from the forest and the air is a lot fresher like when you go to kampong lah, the air is different okay cigarette ta, why cigarette ta is bad i'm not going to read the whole thing i'm going to make this shortcut as much as possible okay so yeah cigarette ta, why cigarette ta is um, bad you basically you just need to know the um it will create cancer yeah. Why the tar is not good? Because it will stick on your body to kill the cell, like the, uh, the thing. If you are going to do the experiment, oh, there's no experiment. But every time when we smoke, we can see that um, the thing, the, the black color thing, uh, it will go inside your body and stick at your lung. But you, you don't know. Tar is like the road tar, you know, the thing that you black color, you want to do the road tar. The smoke also got the thing. Okay? Imagine you putting the thing, the tar, the something that supposed to put on the road, but they put inside your 
your lung, that's why you got the person will get cancer and at last the person will die. Okay, cigarette tar, uh, not only tar, la, cigarette, there's a few toxic things and one of it is tar. So we can see from here, cigarette tar is a substance that cause lung cancer. Okay, you see this is the thing. Um, how they used to make the cigarette. Okay, here we we'll produce carbon monoxide where you can get from vehicle. Butane, light fuel, cadmium, the thing to use to make the alkaline battery. Strat acid, trans, nicotine, ammonia, acetone, methanol, and uh, cyanide and arsenic. So cyanide is poison. You, if I'm not mistaken, you just need to consume, I don't know, 3-4 grams of cyanide, you will die. Means one, one tiny spoon of cyanide and it will make you die. Uh, and last time I still remember, lah, the one people say uh, apple, I don't know apple or what also got cyanide, the seed, so don't eat the seed. Are there that test it? Yes, got cyanide, but it's like, 0.00001 milligram something like that so it, it doesn't play a significant role okay so ah uh, cigarette is bad ask your daddy not to smoke okay after after this class tell your daddy that don't smoke it will cause lung cancer carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is something that you cannot see colorless and odorless it's a silent killer because Actually, oxygen, we bring oxygen plus hemoglobin, we get oxyhemoglobin. But when we breathe in carbon monoxide plus hemoglobin, it becomes carboxy hemoglobin. So this one, for example, I just write this one, as I might come out. What is the, how to say, uh, the equation? Carbon monoxide, and then they just draw a blank here or blank here, ask you to fill in. So we just fill in the hemoglobin and carb uh, carboxy hemoglobin so this thing is dangerous because it's colorless why is it dangerous because it's colorless and it's odorless um if i'm not mistaken why people die inside a car let's say today my house don't have electric so i feel very hot so i go into the car start the engine four people in the car sleep in the car yes got aircon after that tomorrow news and tv7 come out four people die correct no i think last year only four girls die in the car because they're on the aircon why what happened is because when you turn on the aircon you sit in the car the car will keep on the air will be keep on the same stagnant and you breathe you will produce carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide let's say the the engine burn it carbon dioxide and it's colorless and odorless means you don't feel it so let's say i sleep in the car the carbon monoxide and is coming to my nose but i cannot feel it i just keep on sleeping sleep 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 until die because you cannot feel it odorless odorless means no smell you cannot smell it so i think last year the four girl i forget already three or four girl died because they sleep inside the car so it's a sad story mm, so make sure you don't sleep inside a car because you might be poisoned by the carbon um carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide you never know you cannot you cannot smell it actually the burning fuel for our cylinder gas like the cooking one you also actually got no smell but they put in ammonia so when there is leakage you can smell hmm, who did the f somebody the gas didn't people didn't turn off because they put ammonia already in case leak so that it can smell but if they don't put ammonia the gas leak also you don't know we are just human the nose is not so sensitive like dog maybe can feel it because dog nose is 100 times better than human dog's ear is 4 times than human 
Can you imagine a hundred times better than us? Like, I can smell my mother is here. Mm, my mother is inside the toilet. Mm, mm, mm. Today I know what my mother eat. Mm, I can smell. Mm, but human, the nose is just normal nose. We think it's very good, but maybe compared to dog, it's nothing. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide usually produced from factory. You can see this is a factory. And that is why when you buy house, make sure you don't stay so near this place. Um, it will cause, say it's poison, it will cause cancer. Why should we say no to smoking campaign, brain teaser? This one you can do. The number 220 display on this food label in this code for a substance that is sulfur dioxide used to preserve food. Okay, so apricot sulfur dioxide 220. So, it's important when you buy food, you read the label. Always read the label. So, if you see this one, maybe you don't want to eat. Of course, they put the quantity is very, very little. Means very, very little. Lah. Means you can eat. Lah. Not poison until you eat, you die. Every day you eat, then maybe you will die lah, one day. But, yep, apricot is very healthy thing. Lah. Sometimes I buy this one at Speed Mart can buy, I think. Sometimes Speed Mart can sell. Now you need to be sure that the food that you eat does not has sulfur dioxide. Hmm. Moving on, we are not going to read the whole thing. Um, nitrogen is not good for our health. Nitrogen dioxide released by combustion of fuel. For example, like diesel. We got two, right? One is petrol, one is diesel. Diesel is usually for a heavy vehicle like lorry, bus. So nitrogen dioxide is, at least this is a brown color and it got a pungent smell. Mm, very smelly. At least this one you can smell, you know. Carbon monoxide, you got no smell. But nitrogen and dioxide, at least you got the pure smell, like smelly. It will cause you cough, difficulty in breathing, and asthma. Yes. So nowadays, more and more students got asthma. So, yep. Let's read this one. Um, Polluted index API in Moa Johor rose up 746 at 7 a.m., far above the minimum hazardous of 300. The situation caused the government to declare a state of emergency in Moa Ledang was having withdrawal in the morning of 25 June. So this is the pollution. Okay, pollution. Um, if I'm not mistaken, 300 means visibility of 300 meter. Means you only can see something in front of you with 300 meter, but if the sky is clear, I can see from my house, I can see up to Gunting Highland. It's very far, I don't know how many kilometers really, but if you got haze, then I cannot even see KLCC, okay? Haze, oh, talking about KLCC, here is KLCC, just in case you don't know what is KLCC, this is KLCC. Um, haze is not good for your health, it will cause asthma and pollution. Okay, I don't want to read all these things uh, because uh, yeah. exam, exam will come up with question. Exam will usually come up question like what disease. Exam question usually will ask you what gas, what type of gas, what disease. So that's why when I teach the time I straight away go straight forward to the point. What gas, what disease. And depend on the question, the question might ask you to write about the how to say the K but question? What you want to do? What you need to do? Something like that. Okay. So that is K but K but is a a lot of thing I need to cover lah. So I don't know what K but question they might ask. Respiratory disease and their symptom. Yes, this one you need to know. Um, of course we have asthma. I think some of your friend had asthma, right? Due to dust, due to their body condition, etc. Bronchitis. Inflammation of bronchus caused by irritants of the inflammation means like bengkak, you know, like zong do I fall down, not not fall down, uh. inflame is something like um become red color, something like that. So it's inflamed, too hot. Inflame of throat. I got sore throat. So bronchitis around here. So here um 
red color ล่ะฮะตรงนี้หรอ emphysema แม่ emphysema is a condition of a v e r o l y in the lung damaged by harmful substance so this is um worse ฮะ a n t i p a t i e n t cannot be cured but symptom of this disease can be controlled you can see um this one is more dangerous okay can cause um death this is the supply of oxygen i can see oxygen breathing in because the body cannot absorb oxygen properly so you want to put in more oxygen so the person can breathe easily like what in hospital right hospital usually they have the oxygen thing in case the person breathe very slow or cannot breathe you want to put oxygen in so that the patient can breathe uh, better easier hmm. So this is healthy alveoli, damaged alveoli. So this you can see, um, healthy is a round round thing. So you can, there's a better exchange of gas. And this one we can see that cannot really exchange properly, right or not, with this shape. Hmm. Lung cancer, due to what caused lung cancer? What the reason? Of course you can say smoking. Or you can say is carcinogen. What do you mean by carcinogen? Carcinogen from the word, I think, cancer. Things that can cause cancer. For example, ta is a carcinogen because ta can cause cancer. Depend on what cancer. So people that smoke, they don't know. Eh, yeah, smoke only my, you see, I'm still strong, I still can stand. But you don't know when they are talking like this, the healthy person lung is like this, red color. Ew, but it's still very gross. And the person with cancer is like this black color. And um, this one is like rubber. If I'm not mistaken, you can toy out, toy out, toy out. This one is like grass already. So it's quite painful, you know. Die, die is one topic. To die in a painful way is another topic. So if you like this die is really painful, you know, you'll, you'll feel really painful and you cannot breathe and it's a painful death. La. I mean, depending on the person, la, we hope to die peacefully, right? Like sleep and die. This one, you won't sleep and die, you will. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Every time in the bed, you will, the person will be ayo, ayo, ayo. If you go, go to old folks home or what hospital, sometimes you hear people ayo, ayo, ayo. Very painful. Um, okay, effect of smoking. Um, effect of smoking. Um, let's look at this passive smoker. Who is the passive smoker? You are the passive smoker. Active smoker is the person that smoke. Passive smoker is the person that smell. And why is it um not healthy? Because the person that smoke every day only smell like one time per day but actually it's very unhealthy for passive smoker because cigarette smoke is harmful not only happen to the smoker but also to the body of it. here didn't say why but actually because the person that smoke the body actually develops certain immune to it means they get used to it the body actually build a certain immune to it passive smoker like baby or children or maybe like you your body haven't get used to the smoke. I'm not asking you to get you, but the one the first time you smell, it really affect your health because your body you haven't get used to smoking. So cigarette are harmful, um, can be fined ten thousand or imprisonment of two years. Hmm. So this is the experience. Uh, this one I think exam will ask. Um, what they will ask? They will ask you what is the hypothesis, what is the um, variable, what is the, this one represent what? For example, I know that this one represent the lung, for example. Not represent lung, but it shows, yeah, actually it shows your lung, okay? And why this thing, why they want to put acid here? We are going to learn this thing. What is the purpose of the cotton? What is the purpose of Thermometer. Um, that's a thermometer. Uh. Um, why no thermometer? 
Let's put one thermometer here. Huh? Just in case the question that upgrade the question that put one thermometer. Um, I think I will put so usually they will put the cigarette at here and uh, sometimes they will put a thermometer at here. I just draw the thermometer. Here lah, huh? they put the thermometer at here. I don't have to draw it lah, huh? when they put, I make the, the the thing very ugly. So why we want to do the experiment? Cigarettes is very bad because it contains tar acid. So how to test tar? Because I will see this thing will become brown. The cotton later become brown. So you know that if the cotton can become brown, when it goes to your body, your body inside your lung also become brown, but you cannot see. But you can see by doing this experiment. Then, when you go to the thing, it become the lemon solution from blue will turn to red, showing that the gas that the person smoke is acidic. And acidic is not good for your body. Okay, acidic, we can see that um, here didn't mention, okay. Um, I forgot the disease caused by the acidic. And the, I put a thermometer, means the temperature will rise, causing inflammation. Too hot, then it will cause inflammation, means uh, bengkak. Okay, zhong zhong in your throat or in your lungs where it's not good for your health. So, depend on the question. So, variable, present of cigarette, respiring, the cotton wool, lemon solution, and the rate of the suction. So after they start the experiment, what they observe is cotton wool, presence of cigarette smoke. Let's do the answer here. Um, cotton wool color, uh, beginner experiment is white, correct or not? So here is white, here is white. End of experiment, yeah, either you can put black or I put here brown. Correct or not? Here no smoke, ma, so I put white. Limo solution, um, I think we blue, blue, okay, blue, blue. So here got no smoke, so it will remain blue. Here it will become red. So the conclusion from here, smoking got ta. And the conclusion is smoking is acidic because it turns the limo's paper from blue to red. Question. Name one substance in the cigarette smoke that deposit on the cotton wool. So the answer for this one is one substance in the smoke that deposit in the cotton is the tar, T A R, correct or not? The black color. You know that here got the brown or black. Sorry, I think this one is purple, uh, not blue, purple. Purple, purple. So this is tar, correct or not? The black color one at the thing. Here will become black. So the tar will stick at here. Because you ask you uh, what is the thing stick at there. So this will be the tar. Is cigarette acidic or alkaline? So cigarette is acidic or not? It's acidic because, how you know? Because it turns the purple limo solution to red. Okay? Um, explain. It turns um, purple litmus solution to ray Rana. name three other substances that are found other harmful substances that are found in the cigarettes more mm, three other substances i think it's in the textbook just now we got read a lot right let's go up a little bit um here So maybe I just choose three answer. I choose um, arsenic, and I choose methanol, and I choose nicotine. Okay, three harmful substance. Okay, that's it for that question. Okay, name four example of solid in the air that are harmful to human respiratory system. Four example of solid in the air. So for this one, we can say solid means something that is really solid, okay? So I can say haze, um, 
after that I can say dust pollen and maybe uh, one more solid I would say is star okay four solid that harmful to our body name three example of gases in the air that are harmful to human respiratory system so this one just now is the solid right so I just write down the solid um, pollen um, haze dust tar okay uh, three gases that harmful um, carbon monoxide correct or not because carbon monoxide is a gas carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide still remember sulfur dioxide and what is one more nitrogen dioxide okay so this one you can refer to your book okay so that's it for this video and i see you next time thank you and bye bye